Hi everybody, this is Connie from Connie's Nails and Creative Creations. Today I'm taking part in the Snowman 2020 Challenge. The host is Cindy from That Crafting Lady and the co-host is Annie from Indiana Jones. Let's get right to it. I first have a 9 by 12 canvas. I grabbed some burnt umber and some water and I mixed it together sort of on just the palette. Um, there's going to be streaks of the brown and streaks of the white. And I'm just covering the whole um, front of the canvas. And once I get that done, I'm going to let it dry and then we'll get started on the rest. Okay, now I actually grab just white. It's got a little bit of brown mixed in and I'm just sporadically putting it all over the canvas and kind of blending it in so that it's not just one straight color. I wanted it to look like, um, I don't know if I, not really wood, just I wanted a background that had more layers than just one flat color. Okay, when I get this done, then I'm going to grab a, um, the white, and I'm just going to start painting the snowman. Now, um, I just keep working it, and you'll see how he takes shape. Okay, I've got the bottom done. Now I'm going to start um, making the head. Now, it doesn't look like it's going to be connected, but it will be. Um, I just work on it. And this is just the first layer of the snowman. I am going to come back and do a whole lot more detail and lighten him up. And here I'm connecting, and then I'm going to be um, drawing the um, arms with a smaller paintbrush and just the white paint. And I'm just drawing the, the arms on both sides. And I'm just working away, um, like doing a little bit of shadowing so that um, you can tell their arms and not just big blobs off the side of his body. So um, then I'm going to take um, a different paintbrush and I'm going to start painting another layer of just the white to um, make him much brighter. And I just fill in um, the head and the whole body so that he looks more like a snowman than um, a brown sort of tan blob. You want him to be a cute little snowman. So um, I'm just working at that. I'm getting um, up by his uh, neck. Not that he has a neck, but where a neck would be. Let's put it that way. I'm filling in the arms, and then I'm going to start um, uh, doing some shading. Okay, now I'm grabbing um, a smaller brush with blue, and I am just going to be painting in a scarf. So you can see I'm just painting that in. I do all my painting, most of my painting is freehand, or at least I draw something first. But this is just, I'm working on the scarf. I'm getting it um, where it looks like it's actually around his neck area. And then I'm going to put uh, some tails, uh, I guess they're tails, the end of the scarf, like they're uh, getting uh, blown in the wind and so I'm just going to draw the outlines first and then I'm going to fill them in. Okay. 
Okay, as I'm getting those filled in, I'm going to start picking up some white on my um, paintbrush, and I'm going to put highlights on the scarf so it doesn't look flat, so that it actually looks like um, a scarf or material. And when I'm putting shadows and highlights, I go over it sometimes several times until so, I get the exact um, look that I'm going for. So I'm just working on um, that scarf now. Um, sometimes I'll put blue and then I'll go back and put white and I'll put some more blue until I get it looking the exact way that I want it to look. Okay, now I'm grabbing some of that brown and I am just putting the shadows to separate the, the arms from the body and I'm putting uh, little shadows around to make it look like mittens on the hands um, so I'm just doing that with shadows I'm not like drawing it I'm just using shadows to create the look and now I'm doing um, the f where the feet would be, and it's mainly just shadows. Uh, I'm kind of drawing it, and then I kind of feel it in and make it look more of a shadow. And I just keep working it until I he looks um, realistic to me. Not, I mean, snowmen are not perfect and they're not pure white um, there's always shadows on them so that's what I am working on right now is just getting all the different details so that it looks like it would look if it was outside And now I got a little fine brush, and now I'm going to start drawing in his face. Now this is the mouth, or at least part of it. And then I'm going to put in, fill in his mouth, and then I'm going to put his eyes. I start out really with small eyes, and then I make the decision to make his eyes um, bigger and make him look like he's actually looking up instead of straight forward. Okay, now I have got my orange and a really fine brush and I'm just going to draw in his nose. Now, when I do this, this is when I realize that I really want his eyes to be bigger so that it looks like he is looking up. And so I'm just adding them, um, adding to them so it looks like um, he's looking up. And then I decide to um, I highlight his nose after I fill it in. And then I decide I want his nose to be longer. So I'm going to add to it. And now I've got a little bit of red and I'm putting that in his mouth to um, so that it's not just black. I wanted to give it a little bit more um, definition and dimension. And now I'm just going back <clears throat> in with uh, some white uh, so that it just blends those colors and makes it look uh, more realistic what you would see outside.
And now I'm just working at this other little details, cleaning it all up. Um, then I'm going to decide I'm going to put some more white in the background to make it so it's not so dark. Please, if you would, uh, you could go down to the description box. There'll be um, a link to the playlist as well as a link to uh, the Crafting Ladies channel as well as Indiana Jones. And please don't forget to hit the notification bell this and to subscribe as well as giving me a great big thumbs up you guys have a great day and i hope you enjoyed bye